The news headline, Mango spends night in police custody as plot to remove him tickets. The embattled acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Mago, spends the night in police custody on the orders of a presidential panel probing a late infraction against him. Premium Times reported how Mr. Mago was arrested in front of the EFCC office in in Abuja by security officials on Monday. He was taken to the presidential villa Abuja where he appeared before a presidential panel investigating alleged corruption and insubordination. The alleged allegation of insubordination and relooting of recovered funds were leveled against him by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. In separate statements on Monday, the SSS denied arresting the anti-craft chief while the EFCC said Mr. Marco was only invited for questioning. Similarly, the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption has also described Mr. Marco as a victim of power play in the presidency. The 10th Security and Familiar Sources informed Premier Times Mr. Marco was not allowed to go back home because the panel ordered his detention. The EFCC official was grilled for several hours by members of the panel in the presence of an EFCC counsel, Rotemi Oyedepo. When the panel rose for the day, it decided to send Mr. Mago to Area 10 Force Criminal Investigation Department of the police. The source said he spent the night there in the police custody. This newspaper learned that several options of sanctions against Mr. Mago were being weighed pending the approval of President Muhammad Buhari. They were planning to take him to court, Premium Times was told on Monday afternoon by a source who asked not to be named because he lacked the authority to speak officially. Another source at the presidency said there is a lobby group advocating for a soft landing for Mr. Mago, a police commissioner. According to the power plug, disgracing Mr. Mago will leave a dent on the EFCC and the government fight against corruption, the source said. You cannot claim successes in the fight against corruption and turn around to say the man leading the war is a corrupt, immoral person. This is a part of the argument of Mr. Marco's sympathizers, said the source late on Monday. Power struggle. On ending crisis, multiple sources have also said the ongoing investigation into the activities of the EFCC is majorly a battle between the AGF and the EFCC boss. The alleged the alleged originating Malami memo up to current arrest seems an outcome of power play by power blocks in the corridors of power in which Malami appears to be an arrowhead or major agent of a power block that is not really interested in or in the support of Buhari's anti-corruption fight. Femi Odekunle, a member of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, wrote in a statement on Monday night. Other sources who asked not to be mentioned accused the AGF of using insiders at the commission to sponsor media attack against Mr. Mago. Premium Times is yet to independently verify these allegations. However, Mr. Malami has never been in support of Mr. Mago for the EFCC top job. Both men have constantly played a cat and mouse game despite holding sensitive roles in Buhari's administration, especially in the fight against corruption. Mr. Mago was appointed acting chief of the anti-craft agency in 2015 by President Muhammad Buhari, was rejected twice by the 8th assembly under the leadership of former Senate President Bukola Saraki. This was after the SSS allegedly in collaboration with, the, with Mr. Malami said the nominee lacked the integrity to lead the country anti-corruption agency. The presidency was blocked at rescinding Mr. Mago's name for screening since then.